Yeah, see the bronze? With a material called babbit. And babbit is basically a tin and lead soft material that uh, cushions, the, that, that will, if there's any irregularities, it will conform to them. Well, that babbit has worn and worn and worn away from its original thickness down to nothing and created this space. Now, we're upside down, so that space would normally be, be down here. And uh, that has got to be replaced because what's happening is that as the bearing wears away, the armature gets closer and closer to this, what's called a pole piece. This is the field coil, which has many, many turns of wire. And that's basically the magnet that interacts with other wires that are inside of here that makes it turn. Well, you can see there's absolutely zero clearance there. This is rubbing right against it. So if this were to turn, this would scrape, tear this all up, and eventually the motor would, would uh, blow up on, on here. Now, one thing I found was there were a couple of shims here. There was a piece of metal here and another one here. And what they had done to cheat a little bit in Sanford was they, they put them there so that it spaced the motor slightly apart. And that way it, it wouldn't run, but it wouldn't last very long. So uh, we're glad we caught this. We found this motor was extremely bad. The other one was close. We've measured two or three of them so far, and, and they're basically going to have to be rebabbited. We just had a man from the uh, AC Electric Company here, and he was uh, gave us some ideas as to what we would do. There's a company down in Georgetown, Massachusetts, that will um, rebabbit these bearings, uh, and hopefully it'll be a reasonable cost. Now, what is next on these? is we, we've taken these apart, he looked at them, and he said, you've done what you should, you've made it easy for us, because they will then clean them up. But the, the hard part was taking them apart, taking these very nasty bolts apart and so forth. And then we will put them back together, and they will uh, take them up to their shop, either in Lewiston or, or Bangor, depending on the type of work they do. And the first thing they'll do is they'll take the armature out, and they will clean it very thoroughly, steam clean it, bake all the moisture out of it, and, and uh, clean off the, uh, the bits of rust that they see here. And then they'll uh, impregnate it with a varnish that will seal the moisture out. And there's a couple of different processes that they will do. One will be just to spray it on the outside, which I hope they, uh, it, which is okay, but not really the best. And the other is what they call vacuum pressure impregnation, VPI, where they actually put it, they will put this in a vacuum and then they will introduce, when it, while it's in a vacuum, they will introduce uh, a, a special resin to this. It will be sucked in by the, the vacuum and that's the best and then they'll bake it so that it will dry. However, because this is old and dirty, they may not want to risk the quality of their varnish, which is some huge amount. Uh, it, that they have an investment in that could be ruined by dirt from this. So that's something they'll evaluate.